Hello. So what makes the perfect beer, John? Okay, uh, the perfect beer for me is a nice uh, malty chestnut beer in which um, is an everyday, not that hoppy, and nice and uh, more like a session beer. Beautiful. Um, we I do like um, pales and I do like darks, but fundamentally I like the um, chestnut beers. An old man's drink, if you like. But what's perfect? What what? How do you get a perfect beer? Uh, well, the perfect beer is the beer in this company what sells most. And, of course, that's what counts. What the punters, what the public want. So does that mean, then, that that perfect beer fits what you've just said? So it's pale, it's hoppy? Um, possibly. For example, our perfect beer, our beer what sells the most, is this one here, which is Cleopatra. And that outsells all our other beers two to one. So it's nothing like what my favourite is, but this is the one what makes the sales. So really then, I mean, I'm kind of almost closing the question at the start, there is no perfect beer, because the perfect beer really is whatever's perfect to that person, but surely there is a, a beer that a brewer, if brewers all got together and they had to describe mm -hmm. what makes the perfect beer, there would be a, a series of collective descriptions that would come up that would, that would maybe make sense. Right. First, first, firstly, um, all people are different. Everybody's palate is different. So, as we said, uh, two to one, it outsells everything we do. That is, um, that's fundamental to a business and to everybody's palate. So, a pale, uh, fruity beer is obviously what people want. Fairly strong at five percent, but uh, you and me maybe wouldn't like that. I like a four point five malty, and um, yes. That's where we are, so uh, that's the market. But what about the biggest sellers in the real ale market? Is that indicative? Because your Cleopatra Apricot fruit beer, mm. that's, not, that's not the biggest seller. So is the perfect beer the, the type of beer that sells predominantly through the whole market? Is that the perfect mm. beer? Yes, it, yes, it is, yes. Um, what, what is the perfect beer? Good question. Um, th there we are. We're talking about a perfect beer in our company, talking about a perfect beer for me. The next man, no, his perfect beer would, might be completely different. So for brewers out there who are trying to make that perfect beer, what would you say to them? Be able to change to the market. Uh, be able to um, give people what, what they want. Don't brew for yourself, of course, that's a, a major thought and um, get, your, um, get the thoughts, get the uh, feedback from your punters, what they like from your products, and then go ahead and enable everybody to enjoy your product. Do you think then, with your perfect beer in Devencio being a fruity beer, that the market will change and that fruity beers will become the perfect beer in the years to come? Maybe five, ten years to come? Good question. Um, we're, we're, we're calling it a perfect beer, aren't we? Um, uh, to uh, some of the people's eyes, it might be the perfect beer now. In ten years' time, I'm sure this type of beer is on the increase. It's on the increase now. Uh, distinct beers, uh, flavoursome, uh, standout beers, on their own beers, so that is increasing, maybe not 10 years, it's happening now. I, mean, I suppose it's whether these beers, like Cleopatra, are novelty beers. I, I remember drinking a cappuccino stout and it was mm. amazing, but wow, one pint, one of those a week mm. was probably enough to keep me going. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, meal in a glass. No, um, I, I, I think there's certain levels you can go to, and those certain levels... Um, if you get stout, yes, you're quite right. It's the last you drink, have at night or in the pub, it's, you only have one. Um, with, the, with, with the lighter beers and the flavoursome beers, you can have more than the one because uh, they're more session-based beers. So really we've, we've kind of come up with some idea of the perfect mm. beer, mm. but really we've come up with no idea 
I'm a perfect beer. I'd agree with that. No idea whatsoever. 